Hey guys, ModsLink here with another tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how to install Lineage OS on a OnePlus One. In order to do this, you're going to need obviously a OnePlus One phone, and the OnePlus One needs to be rooted. If your phone is not rooted, then check down in the video's description and there's going to be a link there to my previous tutorial on how to root a OnePlus One. After you have done that, go ahead and come back to this video. Now if you have a OnePlus One phone, you probably know that the phone shipped out with CyanogenMod. If you don't know what CyanogenMod is, then CyanogenMod is essentially a replacement to stock Android. So most of the Nexus phones ship out with stock Android and that's basically the big thing about them. CyanogenMod essentially stripped down um, bloatware applications and adware applications that come bundled on most typical phones like your Samsung Galaxy Notes and Samsung Galaxy S whatevers. Most of those phones come with bundled applications that are pre-installed by your carrier such as T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint and so forth. Most of those applications are not needed and hence the term bloatware. They're just taking up space on your phone, using up resources, slowing down your phone, and basically you end up upgrading phones just so that most of that storage and memory can be taken up by those bloatware applications. Uh, rooting your phone is one of the things that people do in order to get rid of some of those bloatware applications and cyanogen mod as well as stock android don't come with any of those applications also if you have had a oneplus one for a while now you'll know that cyanogen mod stopped pushing out updates sometime in december last year in 2016 so a lot of people that use a oneplus one or used cyanogen mod on any phone have been kind of left in the dark for a while. There's been a ton of new vulnerabilities found for Android, so Android is susceptible to being hacked, um, having malware and that kind of stuff. So uh, in order to replace CyanogenMod, the team basically broke apart during that time, and some of the developers left and created a new team called Lineage OS essentially carrying on the lineage of CyanogenMod. Uh, so CyanogenMod became Lineage OS and now it's back to being an open source project so that anyone can now uh, jump on the development team and uh, push out updates or help develop the platform. So that's what I'll be showing you guys how to install today. And so to get started Go ahead and get your phone, make sure it's rooted, and the first thing you need to do is go over to your settings, scroll down to about phone, go over to build number and tap that a few times so you can enable the developer options. And as you can see here we are starting on Android version 5.1.1 on CyanogenMod OS version 12.1 which is the one that was used in the previous video on how to root the phone. Just if you guys are wondering, then go over to the developer options and make sure to enable advanced reboot. Once you have done that, you can go back, go back to the home screen. And at this point, you're gonna have to download a couple of things. Luckily, you don't need a computer or anything. You can do everything on the phone. So go over to your web browser and the first thing you need to do is go over to lineageos.org and click on download here and then tap over here on the side on menu and look for OnePlus then tap on One Bacon and then download the latest nightly release so this is Lineage OS version 14.1 and the version that you have here might be different when you follow this tutorial but just download the latest version and you should be okay after you have done that the next thing you need to do is go over to opengapps.org 
tap on download over here select arm select android version 7.1 and select the mini version here and download that as well I've already downloaded both of these things so I'm not gonna do it again but you get the point just tap on that download and then these files are gonna be downloaded over to your downloads folder which you should be able to view here in your downloads the next thing you need to do is download and update TWRP so use the Google Play Store and look for TWRP download the official TWRP app and get that installed and go ahead and open that and you're gonna be at this screen the first thing you need to do is back up your existing recovery so go ahead and tap that and then back up uh, recovery tap OK and then OK again if this is the first time you're using this application you're gonna be asked to grant root access go ahead and do so after you have backed up your recovery you can flash TWRP so go over here to TWRP flash download TWRP make sure that you have bacon up here at the top and tap on the latest version this is going to open up your web browser and then download this right here again I've already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it again once you've downloaded it go back to the official TWRP app and go over here to select the file to flash go over here to storage emulated forward slash zero go to your downloads and here you should have TWRP 3.1 which you just downloaded select that and then flash to recovery tap OK and that will update your TWRP once you have done that you can hold the power button which will bring up this menu then tap on reboot and if you enable that option in the developer options you should have all these new reboot options so select recovery and tap OK and this will reboot your phone into TWRP once you get this screen go ahead and swipe this over to the side to allow it to be modified and the first thing you need to do is create a backup this is a crucial step if you don't do this then you could potentially brick your phone and then not have a way to recover it or boot it back up so I would highly suggest you go over here to backup select all of these options and then swipe over to the side and this will create a full backup of your phone and that way when we install the new ROM if anything goes wrong or um, if anything gets corrupted or anything like that then you will have a full backup which you can restore to and then be able to start over if you don't do this then your phone could end up in a boot loop it could end up not booting um, it could end up with corrupted files and then you're going to have a huge mess in your hands trying to get this back to a working condition so just take the extra step take the extra few minutes to get this done and that way your phone is going to be safe this is going to take a few minutes as you can tell so just let it do its thing and be patient and I'll let you know what to do after this is done alright so here as you can see this just finished up and you should be able to swipe this over to unlock the phone so now that this is done you can either go back or reboot the system go ahead and click on go back and then go back again now to make sure that worked go over to restore and make sure that you have a new backup with the current timestamp if you don't then go ahead and do that again and make sure you get one of those with the current timestamp 
once you've made sure of that you can go back and at this point we can flash the new ROM so the lineage OS ROM with the Google Apps at this point you have two choices you can either do a dirty flash which is keeping your current Google account as well as your current applications and most of your application data however the downsides to doing this is that you can sometimes get corrupted files some of your data might go missing and you can end up with boot loops or applications that will crash because you had an older version that was just patched over with a new version some of that just creates uh, instability and so you'll end up with issues where you will get random errors like saying X application stopped working it gets really annoying sometimes they can pop up every second or so and then you're not able to do anything with your phone if you want to take the risk then just tap on install if you don't want to take the risk and you want to do a clean install the clean install basically deletes your Google account deletes your app deletes all of your application data and just completely starts out from scratch this is typically the safest way to do it so that's the way I typically do it whenever I'm installing a completely new ROM so if you want to do it that way then tap on wipe and then swipe this over and this will delete just the Android data it will keep everything that's in your folders so your pictures your music your downloads screenshots anything like that will still stay on the phone after you've wiped go back then go back again and then you can go to install select downloads we downloaded lineage OS and the Google app and once you're at this point go ahead and select the lineage nightly and then go over here to where it says add more zips and then select the open Google Apps ARM 7.1 mini ignore this stock the only one you should have is the mini here once you've selected those two zips go ahead and slide this over to flash them and then just let your phone do its thing it's going to first off install the lineage OS ROM and then flash the Google Apps this might take a few minutes again so just be patient alright now that your phone has finished you can go ahead and swipe this again to unlock it and there you can see that everything went through successfully it flashed the ROM there was no errors if there's any errors you'll see red text there you can see it flashed the Google Apps and it flashed all of these Google applications over before you go ahead and reboot go ahead and tap on wipe cache and Dalvik and swipe this over and then you can go ahead and tap on reboot system and then at this point it's going to ask you if you want to install the official TWRP app we just installed it but because we did a full wipe um, it completely removed it so I would suggest you go ahead and install it so swipe this over now your phone is going to reboot and the first time it reboots it may seem like it's taking a very long time it might seem like it's stuck in a boot loop but it typically isn't as you can see it's going to do a completely different boot animation than you had previously this is the lineage OS boot animation and again it's it's gonna take a while so just leave it alone let it do its thing and just be patient so here you can see the boot screen for lineage OS just go ahead and go through the setup as you would with any other Android ROM and then start the system here you're going to have two options for your launcher so either the Google Now launcher which is what's on stock Android phones or trebuchet however you say that 
and this is the Lineage OS launcher. So here, as you can see, it's very similar to what you would get with stock Cyanogen mod. You can see that there's minimal apps. There's no bloatware or anything like that. And most of the applications on here are actually the Google apps that we installed previously. Uh, as far as settings and features go, it's what you would expect from Android 7.0 Nougat. Um, as you can see here, there's already a TWRP update. So you can go ahead and install that if you'd like so to. So over here, if you want to edit some of these quick settings over here or quick icons, whatever they're called, you can tap on this icon here and then you can use any of these and just tap them and drag them over here. If you want to go into the settings, it's just like uh, Cyanogen mod. And as far as the settings go, it's nothing too fancy. You've got screen lock settings, um, email addresses, Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, data settings, more settings, which is airplane mode, tethering, VPN, network settings, and so forth. Display settings, notification settings, sound settings, app settings, storage settings, battery settings, memory settings, users, uh, gestures, so like the double tap to turn the screen on and off, the circle to use the camera, button settings, so you can use the tactile buttons or you can use the on screen, location settings, security settings, accounts, so you can add multiple accounts, privacy settings. Uh, status bar so this is where you can modify the status bar up here so you can uh, enable brightness controls so that way you can change the brightness right here um, notification count so it'll show a little number right there for X amount of notifications that you have there clock position AM PM battery style etc um, you also have system profiles, so you can add multiple profiles like you would on a tablet. Google settings, uh, language and input settings, backup and reset, date and time, accessibility, printing, and about. So here as you can see in the about section, we are now on Android 7.1.1, which is the latest Android version. If you tap here on the Android version, you'll see that you are now on Android 7.1.1 uh, Nougat. Now, if you want to enable developer settings, you go over here to the build number and tap this a few times. Go back, and now you have the developer options here. And again, just as previously, I would suggest you enable advanced restart settings. And then scroll down here to where you see update recovery. And make sure this is disabled. If it's enabled, then it means that every time Lineage OS sends out a nightly update, then your recovery partition, which is currently TWRP, will be overwritten and will have whatever Lineage OS uses. If this is disabled, then it will skip that partition and will keep your TWRP recovery. Also, if you use Android debugging for your computer, if you're a developer, then you can go ahead and enable that. Also, I would suggest you enable this anyways, because if you have any random issues, you can always use ADB in order to flash a ROM, to flash a recovery, to restore your phone, and anything like that. So it's a good option to have enabled. But, I mean, as you can see, it's a very simple, clean ROM. There's not much to it, which is exactly what most Cyanogen Mod users enjoyed about Cyanogen Mod. So, again, Lineage OS is the follow-up or the next advancement in what Cyanogen Mod was originally trying to create. That is basically it for this video. If you guys found it helpful or informative, please remember to like, comment, favorite, or share this video. 
consider subscribing as well for future videos such as this one and also consider checking out some of the sponsors down in the video's description such as amazon.com if you guys need anything from amazon.com go ahead and click on that link and then purchase whatever items you need or want and i will get a small kickback you benefit from watching my tutorials and i benefit from that small kickback i get from amazon but anyways that is it for this tutorial guys as always thanks for watching and i will see you next time